you've already mentioned, John, that various sort of kind of species can be at the top of their game in, in this certain area, in the certain environments that we have. And we look at something like the uh, the end of the dinosaurs via the kind of um, comet that, that, that hit Earth. And then you kind of have this dust in, incineration cloud going around Earth and the you know, all the large species basically being wiped out. And then a kind of like a fair few years later, um, mammals kind of pop back into existence and then it blew up and we, it is now the sort of time of, of, of the mammal. It's kind of fun to explore that, that specific yeah. extinction event because it's one that we know a lot about. That asteroid, it would have caused a cloud. It stopped photosynthesis for at least two years. So we had this nuclear winter that after the, uh, the impact. So all of the herbivores that depended on those plants for two years, they just they had no food. So they died off. Basically, the things that survived that were you had birds who could fly to whatever little areas still somehow had food and mammals survived it probably because they there were some that were burrowing animals and they were eating fungus and they were eating maybe also the roots of plants. A lot of plants go dormant in a in a situation like this, just like they go dormant in the winter. So they would still have roots available to be eaten. So somehow mammals, like several groups of mammals survive this, several groups of birds survive this, several groups of reptiles survive this, but the big dinosaurs, they all went extinct. Coming out of this, the world is like empty. <laughs> and so once these plants start turning back on, start photosynthesizing again, start producing all this food. There's just an abundance everywhere. And so all of these mammals that used to be competing extremely like hard just to survive, they were at carrying capacity before. So every environment has a carrying capacity. It can only support so many individual organisms. Well, all of a sudden you've got a ton of food once photosynthesis kicks back in. All of the competition is just relaxed. And so there's population explosions of every lineage that survived. These big extinction events are really cool because you have these rapid, uh, we call them radiation events, where you get these rapid speciation events that happen rapid in evolutionary time. For the full conversation, go check out the Socratic Sessions podcast, episode 26.